Welcome to the 2019-20 NCAA Men's Basketball Weekly Whistle video number four. This is J.D. Collins, the NCAA National Coordinator of Men's Basketball Officiating. As a reminder, officials have been directed to continue their efforts to reduce physicality to create freedom of movement. This training video will focus on traveling. Specifically, we will look at step back travels. In order for officials to adjudicate traveling plays correctly, they must first find the pivot foot. Subsequently, officials will move their eyes up to officiate potential contact. In observing step back travel plays, officials will look for a hard plant of the pivot foot before the step back. Once they see the hard plant of the pivot, they will determine when the offensive player controls the ball with both hands. Let's look at several step back traveling plays. Number 15 White dribbles to his left, plants his right foot hard, possesses the ball, and then steps back to his left foot. When his right foot, his pivot foot, comes back down to the floor, it is a travel. This was a travel and needed to be called. Number zero gold dribbles to his left, plants his right foot hard, possesses the ball, and then steps back to his left foot. When his right foot, his pivot foot, comes back to the floor, it is a travel. As you will see from the baseline camera, this was an obvious travel and needed to be called. While this angle of video doesn't show clear possession, the center official would have had a clear view of the play. Number five white dribbles to his left, plants his right foot hard, possesses the ball, and then steps back to his left foot. When his right foot, his pivot foot, comes back down to the floor, it is a travel. This was a travel and needed to be called. Number three white dribbles to his right, plants his right foot, picks up his dribble with his left foot as his pivot, possesses the ball, and then steps back to his right foot. When his left foot, his pivot foot, comes back down to the floor, it is a travel. This was a travel and needed to be called. Number zero black dribbles to his left, plants his right foot hard, possesses the ball, and then steps back to his left foot. When his right foot, his pivot foot, comes back down to the floor, it is a travel. This travel was correctly called by the trail official. Number five white dribbles to his right, dribbles between his legs, plants his right foot hard, possesses the ball with his right foot as his pivot, and then steps back to his left foot. When his right foot, his pivot foot, comes back down to the floor, it is a travel. The next two plays show a legal jump stop. AR-211 applies to both of these plays. On plays where the location of the foot at the time of ending the dribble is uncertain, the benefit of the doubt should rest with the dribbler having made a legal play. Number 21 White dribbles to his left, plants his right foot, finishes his dribble, and possesses the ball with his left foot as his pivot. This is a legal step back move. Number 24 white dribbles to his left, plants his right foot, finishes the dribble, catches the ball in the air, and lands on his left foot, his pivot foot, and then his right. This is a legal step back move. This is a great time of year for everyone that loves college basketball. Good luck to your team this season. Thank you for your interest in college basketball.